Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a T28. And I'm doing my diligence, you know, I'm digging deeper with the tanks I haven't played in a while and look at this what I found, the gem. Last video recording on 2021 May 18th. So fellas, we can easily say we haven't played with this vehicle for a couple of years. And I believe it is about the time to have our knowledge back of this tank. Now, speaking about the T28, it is absolutely beautiful vehicle. It is like a bunker on the tracks, right? In a way, it is like a TS-5, but probably a tiny touch weaker. But the thing is, I think this tank might have better gun than TS-5 has. But armor-wise, I would say TS-5 is more trustworthy and it is just simply better. Now, speaking about the gun, gun of this vehicle has 400 alpha damage, which is absolutely amazing considering that you are playing in the close range, right? Uh, if the standard ammunition with a 250 penetration is not enough, you can load gold and you can get just a bit shy of the 300 millimeters of penetration and you can get 20% faster shell velocity as well. In other words, what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to highlight is this vehicle is absolutely bonker of the tank, but there is one drawback. For every tank which is a bunker, right, is, it has a bad feature. Whenever you are overly relying on the armor and whenever you have a bad matchmaking such as uh, you are playing against the tier 10s in this kind of situation, yeah, the situation is significantly worse and there is nothing what you can change about this. Literally nothing, you know? So this is definitely a drawback of this tank and this is a definitely um, disgusting feature. Which is quite sad, but to be fair with you, you can say the same thing for Dede, Fede, and whatever else, right? Whoever else has a great armor in the lower tier uh, bracket in a way. Well, unless you are playing with a tier 10, then it is a bit different situation, because then you are expecting to get lower tiers either way, in a way, right? Okay, so, we are starting this game by being uh, calm, right? We are starting this game by going for some blind shots left, right and center. And I really want to spank them like there is no tomorrow. Oh, look at this beauty. I, how are you doing, Jack Tiger? The thing is, I have a very, very good armor. So Jack Tiger is going to struggle to penetrate me. He's not going to have the best time ever. And the thing is, I have advantage of the alpha damage. And what that basically means, that basically means Jack Tiger is going in the garage and he cannot do absolutely anything about this. There is nothing. I repeat, there is nothing what this gentleman can do. And this is the power of the tanks like this. Whenever you have, whenever you are packing a, a humongous amount of the armor, right? I have no doubts he would love to spank me back and he would like to show who is the boss, but truth to be told, I am the boss, right? So, that is that is the overall uh, T28 in the nutshell. Uh, now let's try to focus on the game and let's see what we can do. Also, extremely important thing to say, I really hope we are going to have a tier 10 much, much making later on. The main reason why am I hoping for this is to show you how this vehicle can behave whenever everything is going badly. You know, whenever whenever the things are not looking as great as we would love to. And believe me, if the, if the matchmaking is going to be against us, if matchmaking is going to show us the tier 10s, the struggle is going to be real, for sure. Anyways, the DFA has the full hit points, so without further ado, we are just simply pushing for a DFA and we are going to say hello for him, right? I I haven't checked when I played with a DFA the last time, and I have a bad feeling that uh, um, we might need to replay with this tank as well. Hey, what a beautiful camo you have, my man. What a beautiful camo you have. Unfortunate fate, but I have no other choice, my man. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I am feeling a uh, cannibal. By the way, one more thing which is uh, worth to say for this camo. He needed to select our team 
uh, back in 2020 or 2019. I cannot really remember when was the Team Clash event. And I miss Team Clash, fellas. I would love to see the Team Clash event once again. Well, maybe one day. Who knows? Anyways. Huh. From the tanks enemies have left, I am feeling extremely confident here. I think all we need to do, we need to push the W to the maximum and we can actually make it work, right? I do not see anything bad happening in here. Oh. Not bad. Stern Waffelcock is running for his life. I have a feeling CS44 is still going to be in the same position right there. Okay. All of them are running from us. Now the worst part of all this is can I go for a base defense in time? This is actually quite complicated because I am slow. And keep this in mind, I am running turbo and everything, so this can be a bit of the complicated stuff. Comet is going straight to the base, I would say. Scorpion down to fartable. I think I am kind of alright, honestly. I think I am kind of alright. Okay, let's see. Our team is capping the base and the enemies are capping the base at the same time. I should be able to sneak just like so. And now watch this. Bam. This guy is dead. Now we can make a bit of pressure just like so. I see this. This ES-44, but what he doesn't know is... <laughs> what he doesn't know, I am baboon. Actually, what I did not expect is that he is baboon. Wait a second, you were shooting me, you bastard. I saw what have you done for me before. You was you were shooting me when I was in the open field. Oh, what a naughty mother tracker he is. What a naughty mother tracker, fellas. Outrageous. Look at this powerhouse of the tank. How not to love it? How not to love this vehicle? Whenever you are getting a city map, whenever you are getting a good matchmaking, that means you are playing against your own tier or obviously perfect case scenario in the perfect world. You are playing against the lower tiers. You are like a King Kong. You are beating your chest and saying, come here, come here. This is what you are saying. And this is how this game went. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful performance. One more thing which I really want to highlight. Please take a look what kind of crew do we have on this tank. We literally have the first skill training. 90% of the first skill. Yeah, that is nuts. Anyways, looking into all of this, we have 7 kills, 3.4 thousand damage. That was absolutely glorious and beautiful. 1.3 base experience. Uh, and we made quite a bit of the credits as well. And we have a love message. It was pleasure to die from your gun. Aww. How, how kind is that? Usually I'm expecting to get message, you bastard, you killed me. And this time it was a different situation. Anyways, first game, let's go for second. Oh boys, oh boys, look at this situation. Life Oak Standard Battle Tier 10 Matchmaking. Now, you will see completely different case scenario. Now you are going to see what is happening whenever we are being bottom tier. And this is very, very good um, example, you know. How much armor doesn't really matter whenever you are dealing against the higher tiers. And this is going to be extremely hard game, I can promise you that. I have no business of going on the field, right? I am too slow. If our team will overrun the field, it's game over. So, uh, or alternatively, if I'm going to get flanked, it's game over either way. So in this kind of situation, playing with this tank, we must go into the city. There is no other alternative option. There is only one way into the city, straight into the city, fellas. So let's try to do this and let's try to make this tank work as well, which is going to be a challenge considering what kind of matchmaking we have. Now, the biggest boy, which I am af afraid the most here is this Baza 75. I do not really care about the, um, uh, actually, no, sorry, uh, the Fosh 155, he is the biggest boy here. He is the king of this matchmaking. No, but skill, what do you mean you are afraid of? Mm. 
The main reason why am I afraid of the cow is he can literally two shot me if he is having two high rolls or he can simply tap me to death. And this is not what I am looking for. This is not what I want to see. So when we arrive into the city, we are going to be calm and we are going to stay here on the corner, right? Whenever enemies will peak this position and eventually they will, what we will do, we will try to spank them. This is the hope, this is the plan, and this is the dream. And now we are just simply patiently waiting on the corner. I do not want to be aggressive otherwise, you know? This is this is the play which we want to have. We want to spank them whenever they are going to peak. I just cannot be aggressive. By the way, if you are wondering how is this tank created, this tank created um, good. Right. Uh, and remember, you can always check out the index page. Soon we are going to have, or maybe we already have the new patch of the index or new version of the index. And the main reason why I do not know, because I am pre-making many, many videos up front, because I'm going to have a very, very, um, how to say this, um, busy, busy days. Right. There is some, some sort of trip to Vilnius planet. There is a trip planet in the other country to refresh the brain from the game and whatnot. So this is, this is the main reason why am I pre-making the videos and I believe you will see, you will see the previous haircut for a very very long time and now you are going to see uh, uh, the fresh one if you know what I mean so yeah anyways everything is fine and we are feeling pretty well by the way look at this wow what I did not expect this I did not expect it to have this uh, this roof um, left wow quite an interesting one anyways it's okay everything is fine let's go for object at this point, we are going to say, no, let's play the game. Obviously, he's loading the hits, but it doesn't really change us. It doesn't change anything because I can penetrate him even with a standard ammunition. And in fact, I will try to, sh to put my gun into his gun. Skill what that means? Well, if I will put my gun into his gun, this is going to be quite a nice uh, situation, right? Because he simply won't be able to... Uh, Help! Help! Can I turn? Can I turn? No, I cannot. I cannot turn in time. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. That was a bit different game, right? That was a solid four minutes. But in the end of the day, everything uh, went pretty well. I am proud of this 2.5 thousand damage, believe me or not. Um, and obviously we got gangbanged. This is the thing which you need to be afraid of, right? Uh, but the block for the 257 was good. I stick it, my gun into his gun and he simply could, could not shoot me. That was a good one. Anyways, let's see the score. Okay, and we are coming back with a score. By the way, I hope you enjoyed the gentle touch. He mounted me into the wall and he did not even ask my name. I can't complain it. I liked it, fellas. 2.5 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage. Wow, we scored it so high. We scored it second by experience and we scored it second by the damage. In the tier 10 matchmaking, this is actually very, very good. And in the same time, we have 30,000 profits, which is absolutely glorious and everything. Okay, first games went well. Now I want to see the tier 8 matchmaking. Pretty please, let's do this. Last but not least, we are having the Pearl River tier 9 matchmaking. Okay, this is going to be quite a journey and this is going to be quite a challenge, but we will see what we can do. We are not going to give up without fight for obvious reasons, right? Uh, we have a couple of ways how we can play this game. I truly don't think we should go towards the, um, towards the base. I honestly doubt it. But what I am thinking, I am thinking actually to go into the middle. Hopefully middle... Hopefully middle will work just fine for us. What is the biggest fear of mine if obviously enemies will take the hill and they will start uh, causing a bit of the troubles from uh, from um, pretty much middle, right? This is the worst thing what could happen. But you know what? I am optimistic. I think we are going to be all right. That's what I want to believe, fellas. That's what I want to believe. So let's see. Hmm. No. Moment of truth. 
Who is the first person who will take one for the team? Wow, how many heavy tanks do they have? Ooh. Okay. I'm not going to panic too much. I am going to be completely fine. I will simply say hello for the C-75. In fact, I think I can go even more aggressively here. Hmm. Centurion has the side angle. This is a bit of the hustle for us fellas. This is a bit of the hustle. Beautiful shot. Now we are going to go for the CLC. I am very very well aware of that that Centurion can spank me in the butt. But I am not going to overcomplicate the things and I won't think about that too much. At this point I will simply say here low for ELC even. If it's possible I will try to track him and I will try to ram him to death. Hopefully that will work. Two, one, he's panicking and he is officially dead. No! So close but no banana fella, so close but no banana. Okay, we are feeling completely fine, let's turn around and let's try to help for our T-30 if obviously he needs some help to begin with. Okay, so far so good. So far I really like how this game is looking like overall. What is the chance of us beating the living crap out of this Centurion? In fact, you know what? I'm ignoring Centurion for now. I have a feeling enemies will try to go like this. You know what I just noticed? I noticed that I am spamming gold. And it wasn't even my intention, but oh well. I'm not complaining about this decision. Still, you said you noticed you are spamming gold and you are still going with a gold. No, fellas, this is the last game of the video. I really want to show you something nice. Because there is a tendency that last game of the video is sometimes, well, not sometimes, it's quite often weaker. And I do not want to give you weaker video. I want to give you a very, very nice and solid game. So let's see. So far, we have 2,000. Um, dealt, right? It is absolutely glorious and it is amazing. And I have a feeling that we have... Uh, the sky is the limit, pretty much. That's the feeling which I have. Now, Mr. E75 needs to die. And we are... Oh, caramba, fellas. Oh, caramba. Okay, okay. I see what you are doing here. I see what you are doing here. Oh, yes, I see Yeah, bad shot by me. <coughs> Luckily, we had the T-30 who actually managed to help for us. What a beautiful play by the T-30. I owe him a big wet kiss. You beautiful, magnificent mother trucker. Thank you. Okay. If we are going to do the things properly here against the Jack Tiger, we should be all right. Beautiful. No. I cannot move in front, fellas. I do not have a turret. I have no turret. It's not intentional block. Um, you know, I am just I am just saying that I do not really have a turret. That's that's what I am saying. Uh okay. So what do we have and what we can expect? We can expect this IS-22 making a hardcore pressure like this. He might go like this. There is a humongous possibility he will simply go through the bridge. That's what I think, okay? And if I think so, I am waiting for my vision to come true. Now the question is, my vision will come true or not so much? Not quite. Beautiful. Excellent. Very, very nice play by our gentleman. Good. And the last Arte is sitting here. I have a feeling the Arte is sitting here. Okay, so just in case. Ooh, Sue in the back. Uh, I don't really think I care about the Sue in the back. I will try to 
he decided just in case, okay? If the Sarta is going to sit here, we are going to spank him. If the Sarta is not going to sit here, well, then we have a bit of the problem and we have a bit of the pickle to solve. And yeah, indeed, it is It is game over for this game. I cannot complain about this. Considering how everything went, we should be happy and we should say hip hip hooray. And in fact, this is exactly what I am doing, right? Oh. Excellent. T30. You know what? I think I think we can jump with the T30. I have a feeling. I have a feeling this T30 will go for it. I have a feeling. Just go for it. I know you want to. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look at this beauty, fellas. Look at this beauty. <laughs> I told you, I told you fellas, I wanted the last uh, game to be a banger and to have some fun, okay? And definitely this is exactly how the things were looking like. Absolutely glorious. I love that, uh, fellas, you have an absolutely amazing spirit and uh, this is the reason why I do not use Anonymizer. I want people to say, hi, skill, how are you doing and so on. And this is why we are having the emotions like this. So, in the end of the day, we had 3,000 damage, which is hip hip hooray, and our hero of the day. Our hero of the day, fellas. T30. What a beautiful, magnificent mother tracker. Tracker green, sardine, pleasure to meet you, my man. It is my pleasure and it is my honor. Uh, in the end of the day, we made 16,000 credits, which is okay. We cannot complain about this. And in the end of the day, we finished everything with a 3,000 damage and 200 assisting damage. Considering how games went, uh, honestly, I'm happy with my performance. That is okay. And if you haven't played with a T28 and you do not mind the slower tanks overall in the game, well, us. Trust me on this one, give it a go. It is pretty damn awesome and it is pretty damn beautiful. Anyways, without further ado, fellas, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.